Virgo, welcome or welcome back to the channel. This is another Virgo channel and this is another Virgo reading. Let's get started with a deep breath. Inhale. And exhale. Thank you. So I was going to do a weekly reading for you and then I didn't get to it yesterday. And then I was going to do a weekly reading for you right now. But I feel like I should just do an October reading because that'll cover the whole month and that allows me some sort of like freedom and space to kind of like post when I want to this month because I just feel a break is coming up Virgo like I feel like I need a break I feel like I'm getting to that point it's coming up for us within like a week or two it's going to happen I just feel a break is going to happen like you need to take a break or you're going to burn yourself out and I feel that for myself like I have just been working and working and working so that I can pay for these things that I need to pay for, you know what I mean? And so that I can feel comfortable and safe. And working is just something that I do naturally, and you do too, right? Because you're a Virgo, or you have Virgo placements. This is for all Virgo placements, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, Midheaven. I don't care if it's your Saturn, your Jupiter, your freaking Pluto, it doesn't matter. You're all welcome here, of course. Just remember to take what resonates with you and leave the rest for someone else because not everything I say is going to resonate with you. But for some of you, everything I will say, every single bit of what I say will resonate with you. And I love when that happens, but I don't expect that to happen all the time. Anyway, a break is coming up or you need to give yourself a break before you burn yourself out. That's the message. I also was getting something about black cats and green eyes. So you may have a black cat with green eyes, you may have green eyes, the green in your eyes is coming out for some of you. And then I was just getting something about a black cat. Maybe you have a black cat or you're going to be coming across black cats, but black cats are a good sign. It's a sign of good luck. It's an omen of good luck. And it's an omen of like spiritual protection. So you are well looked out for throughout the month of October. You are well protected. And I just feel like you are well connected. That's what I'm hearing too, you're well connected. And I'm getting something about your hearing is improving, but your hearing with the spirit world is improving. Your hearing with your guides is improving. Some of you, you have the gift of clairaudience. We've been tapping into that. I'm getting that your clairaudient gift is improving or strengthening throughout the month of October. You're hearing more or you're hearing better. Okay. And then we're seeing your hard work is paying off. Amazing. That's why it's okay to take a break. Some of you also, I feel like you need to buy yourself something nice. You have the money for it, if you have the money for it, but I feel like you do have the money for it. Buy yourself something nice. Take yourself to the crystal shop, to the metaphysical shop if you want to, get yourself something there. Take yourself out to get some new clothes. Take yourself out to get that body care or that skin care or that makeup that you've been wanting. Like whatever it is, I feel like you need to treat yourself and I feel like some of you, there's a break <laughs> that you need to take coming up. So treat yourself to a break or treat yourself on this break if this is you. And then we're seeing it's time to release negativity, right? Your hard work is paying off and it's time to release negativity. So the negative is being released from your life this month. And I feel like that's why you need to take a break so that you can let it all be released from you. <laughs> There's something about like a big purification that I feel like is happening to the Virgo Collective throughout the month of October. And it's releasing all of the negative feelings. It's releasing all of the negative thoughts. It's releasing all of the negative people. The negativity is being removed from your life. It's being cleansed from your life. That's what I'm seeing. Obviously, there's like the balance. We need a little bit of negative to have a little bit of positive, and we need a little bit of positive to have a little bit of negative. But I feel like for some of you, there's been a lot of negativity, not just recently, but for like your whole life. There's been a lot of negative energy projected onto you, or you've just been around negative people, negative spaces. A lot of you, it wasn't your choice. You were born into these families, or you were put in these places when you were a child, you didn't have a choice. But now the universe is balancing the scales and making everything right. And I'm getting something about Jesus. You may be very connected to Jesus or Jesus may be looking out for you specifically right now. You may be working with Jesus or Yeshua. You may be learning more about Jesus or Yeshua around this time, throughout the month of October, okay? But yeah, let's keep going. Jesus is here. Uh-huh. Proof. Proof. Ace of Pentacles. That's interesting. 
I'm sorry. I'm just like starstruck that I'm channeling Jesus in this reading. This could be how somebody is feeling about you in the month of October as well. You may be meeting people who are like shocked to meet you. Or you may be meeting people who are starstruck to meet you. Maybe you're in the public eye or a celebrity or you're going to be for some of you. And there are people who are like shocked that you're around them or that they're in the same spaces as you, that they're talking to you, that they're looking at you. Like somebody is starstruck by you or you're starstruck by somebody in the month of October. Okay, just a side note, but <laughs> Jesus really came through and took over the reading. I was shocked. <laughs> Ace of Pentacles though, there's a gift from the universe coming into your life, Virgo, in the month of October. Let's find out about it. Seven of Pentacles, it's a gift you've been waiting for for a really long time. I feel like this month is the month that you harvest right? It typically is. It's like a month of harvesting all of the flowers, all of the crops, all of the things that you've got going on. You're finally like harvesting them so that you can hibernate for the winter. That's what it feels like. I feel like this big hibernation energy is coming up. Bears could be significant. You may be hearing something about bears, or you may live near the woods, or you may resonate with the bear spirit, or something about bears is coming up. Chicago could be significant. I'm hearing Chicago bears. I just heard bullseye. Something about you getting it right the first time is happening this month. It's like you're being told to pull out of something so you pull out of it or you're being told to invest in something so you invest in something you're being told to go into a building go you go into it you're being told to go to that position to go to that spot to go to that location you're going and it's like working something about that is happening for you this month i don't know what they're saying to me but it's like you are always in the right place at the right time and your intuition is spot on bullseye every single time you never miss virgo you never miss. Some of you are giving some really accurate readings in the month of October, or you're getting some really accurate readings in the month of October. You could be giving yourself really accurate readings in the month of October too, if you read your own cards. Some of you, you may want to pick up your own deck if you don't have cards, get yourself some cards this month and give yourself some readings. I always encourage people, if you're new to tarot, to read for yourself first to try to learn the cards first before you just start reading for other people, but do what you want, it's your life. Um, but I recommend that you read for yourself if you do have cards or if you know how to read them or if you want to learn how to read them, it'll be good for you this month. You're gonna be like shockingly accurate for yourself and for others. For those of you who do read for others already, you're going to be shockingly accurate because the spirits are in the room. The veil is thin this month. We have Halloween coming up at the end of the month. Oh, I love Halloween. I love Halloween. It's freaking bats. <laughs> if you know what that is, you know what that is. If you don't, it's okay. There's something about this energy of October where it's like, it's fun and it's freeing and it's exciting. It's a little scary too, but it's only scary because of what we were conditioned to believe or because of what happened to us in the past. It's only scary because it's unknown. I got this quote today that I thought was like so profound and it was sometimes the most important words are the ones unspoken. And sometimes the most important sights are the ones unseen. And sometimes the most important thoughts are the ones unknown. And I just thought that was so profound. That came into my noggin this morning. Sometimes I have moments of genius or brilliance and I wanted to share it. And so I shared it on my Instagram, right? And then immediately I've been channeling things about people disagreeing with what I'm saying or with what you're saying or what we're saying or how we're expressing ourselves. And I'm thinking about it and it's been thinking and thinking and thinking in my brain. And I come to the conclusion that it's a jealousy thing in a weird way where it's like, I'm expressing my creativity and I'm sharing my thoughts and other people feel like they can't, but that's not my fault. I also was channeling something about how there's people out here with 50% of the talent that you have, but they're 10 times more successful just because they're willing to put themselves out there, just because they're willing to go through with it and to do it without having all of the information, without having all of the talent, without having all of the connections, whatever. There's people out here with half of your talent 
doing what you want to be doing for some of you. And that was what I was thinking about. I was like, I just don't have any fear anymore when it comes to putting out my creations. If it sounds dumb, it sounds dumb. If people don't like it, they don't like it. That's okay. Yeah, I'm not here to people please and <laughs> neither are you. I'm just here to be and exist and share my creativity. I love to create. And I've been really work working on releasing perfectionism. And I feel like you guys are going to be working on that throughout the month of October as well. Just like not caring if it's amazing, not caring if it's perfect, but just putting things out there and just creating and just living your life a hundred percent. And for some of you, this is going to be bringing somebody back into your life. There's somebody who wants to try to reconnect with you, Virgo. I'm seeing this King of Swords energy. So there could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or a Scorpio or a Capricorn who wants to try to reconnect with some of you in the month of October or somebody that you wanna to try to reconnect with. But I really feel like this is somebody who's going to try to pop back up into your life. They're like, hey, look, we're in the same area. Hey, are you single? Hey, are you talking to anybody? Hey, can we meet up for coffee? Hey, can we meet up for drinks? Can we meet up for lunch? Hey, I'm doing this, you should come see it. That's the type of energy. This person's going to reach out to you. I'm hearing mid-October. Some of them have a birthday. So Libra, there could be a Libra who has a birthday this month who's going to be reaching out to you. But I'm also seeing that for some of you who are single, there's somebody new in your life or somebody new entering your life. It almost feels like it's happening at the same time for some of you. I know you didn't really come here for a love reading, but it feels like there's going to be discussions of love and um, love situations and situationships being like played out and really important this month. Let me find out what this air sign wants, okay? <laughs> Let's find out what this air sign wants. Let's just hear them out. I'm hearing telephone by Lady Gaga. And you're not gonna reach my telephone. Maybe you don't wanna hear from this person. But this person could be calling you or texting you or something like that. Reaching out to you on your telephone. It could be a DM, an email, I don't know. But I'm seeing something about like them reaching out to you on your telephone and I just saw 1212 when I said that. And they wanna start things over. But this is how you're still looking at the connection, the five of pentacles. You're like, I still feel like lost and ghosted and abandoned with this person. There's still some sort of hurt there for you, but this person wants to start over. Tell me more. Yeah, they're really planning on reconnecting with you, but the Seven of Swords is here. And I don't feel like it's for the right reason. I, with the Five of Swords at the bottom of the deck, I feel like it's manipulative and I feel like it's selfish. Why they want to reconnect with you, it's selfish. And it's for their own personal gain. And I feel like it's because some of you are going to be reaping a lot of benefits this week, this month, right? reaping the rewards from what you've sown because there are definitely seeds that you planted a long time ago that have grown look at this the grown there's growth here so you're finally like collecting your blessings collecting your manifestations collecting your benefits your rewards whatever it might be and this person is seeing that and this person is like oh oh virgo's doing better Oh, Virgo's happy. Look at all that Virgo has now. Look at Virgo. Virgo looks so good. All of these things. This is what's going on in this person's thoughts. And they're like, how can I come back in and I? how can I get a piece of the pie? This may not even be romantic. For some of you, this is going to be your father or friends, friends from the past, coworkers from the past, seeing that you're doing well this month. And there's gonna be people asking you for money or asking you to like come through, come hang out with them and then they expect you to pay the bill on things. That's what I'm seeing for some of you. Some people are trying to use you for your money or the money that you're going to have in the near future. Because I feel like October is bringing with it financial improvements for a lot of the collective because your hard work is paying off. Your hard work is paying off. You've been putting in the work on yourself, maybe actual work, maybe both. There's, there's more to this than I can even articulate. And the universe is paying you for your hard work. And this person wants to get a piece of the pie, wants to get a piece of your hard work. Or these people from your past, they're really trying to reconnect this month. The Three of Cups too, I can feel it. This is all about like reconnecting. Whew, this is a lot, Virgo. This is a part of you releasing the negativity. 
I feel like for some of you, this is going to be a test from the universe. It's going to feel like a test from the universe. Like, how much do you love yourself? How firm are your boundaries? How much have you learned from these past situations? Are you going to let them replay? Are you going to go back down this cycle with the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse? Are you going to give your love to this person again? To be ghosted again? To be left out again? To be disappointed again? Damn. I'm sorry that this is coming through this way, but this is just what I'm channeling. And I feel like you deserve so much better, and so there is going to be better that comes into your life as a result of you finally slamming the door on these people from the past. Finally, the door is being closed and you are going to receive your justice. The universe is balancing everything right now. Everything is trying to come back into balance. And I feel like what I was saying in the beginning was something about you've experienced a lot of negativity in all aspects of your life or in different aspects of your life. And the universe is trying to make things right again. Your spirit team, Jesus, your guides, whatever you believe in, are trying to make things right again. So that's why all this negativity is being released. But you always get to have a choice. And I feel like this negative energy is trying really hard to keep you in a negative mindset or to keep you in this system or in this cycle. It's trying really hard this month really hard but you know what they say that they give god's toughest warriors strongest warriors the toughest battles yes yes you are one of the strongest warriors period you will receive your justice this month justice is served justice is served period i'm also getting that some people are receiving a big old heaping helping <laughs> of humble pie this month wow and it's funny i don't know why it's funny but it's funny something about this energy is going to be funny for you justice is funny that's what i'm hearing justice is funny karma is funny karma is your best friend this month period karma is virgo's best friend this month i'm writing that down i am writing that down karma is your best friend Yes, Virgo. A hundred percent. Do we want to find out about the new love for some of you? Or no? No? No. Not in this reading, they said. They want you to focus on resting, on taking breaks when you need to, on not burning yourself out. And I feel like this is when everything starts to flow into your life again. For some of you who have been like in the stagnant energy or you've been waiting for things to manifest for you, it's because you keep putting so much energy and time and work into it, which is great. But now it's time for you to step back and to take a break and to allow the energy to flow. That's what I'm getting. The Empress is all about receiving. The Death card is all about transformation. And now it's your time to receive positivity. Now it's your time to receive love. Now it's your time to receive blessings. Now it's your time to receive manifestations. Now it's your time to receive justice. Now it's your time to receive positivity, so on and so forth. <laughs> it's your time to receive. So I hope that this message helped you, Virgo. I'm sending you love always. Take care of your beautiful self. Stay hydrated. Enjoy your October. I will see you when I see you. Bye.